what is up guys it is world in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can access army servers um and get into log into avd and get access to nippernet servers i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into it search uh avd army links from there you are going to go to army enterprise our sure virtual desktop you're gonna click on that uh from there obviously you're gonna scroll down right you can see the website scroll down you're gonna click on commercial you're gonna because so commercial commercial is when you're on your Wi-Fi like your home Wi-Fi or a public Wi-Fi or whatever the case may be and then from nipper is like army army servers like if you're at work or like whatever the case may be from there uh, since I'm already logged in onto my computer uh, I already have access but how it would work is that you would see this page like this right you would click it, it, it says access package and then from there you see army 369 enterprise virtual desktop AVD you're gonna click request from there you're gonna click continue and it's gonna ask you like a question you're gonna click accept and then it takes roughly from I want to say five to twenty minutes for you to get access for them to approve you from there you rate those 20 minutes right um, you are then going to download to the remote desktop client right uh, I already have it installed but I'm gonna show you how that works right so you click on that that you click on um, Windows right uh, from there you see use the remote desktop client to connect to army Azure virtual desktop then you are going to um, scroll down uh, depending on whatever your computer is, the majority of computers nowadays are 64-bit, but if you have an older computer, then it's going to be 32-bit. You can check that by uh, searching my PC, and then you should be about your PC, and then you should be able to see it in your PC settings right here where it says system type. I have a 64-bit, so from there, you know, I know it's 64-bit. I would click download 64 bit. It'll download. And then I would click open. Right? Oh. And I would click next. See, I already have it installed. But for you guys, if you don't have it installed, you would click next. Then you would click I accept. And then it would install from there. Uh, so since I have it installed, um, I'm going to open it up, right? Remote desktop. And I'm already logged in, but I'm going to log out actually, and then show you how how this works. All right, so this is what it would look like if you were logged out, right? So you would click uh, subscribe with URL or email, um, and then from there you would go to iCam. Uh, if you don't know your email off the top of your head, you can go to iCam and look at it. But if you do know your email, you can just go in, type in your email, and then click continue. And then it would go on from there and you would gain access to AVD. In my case, I don't remember like my email off the top of my head. And then you would log into iCam wait for it to load and then your email is going to be right there at the top right of the screen you're going to click copy right you're going to copy that we're going to go back to the remote desktop client you are going to then put in your email right wait for it to load it takes a minute then you're gonna click next, right? And then from there, you're gonna put in your email again. Click next. Now it's gonna ask you to sign in with your CAC. That would make sure you know you're actually military. You're then gonna click OK. Type in your PIN. And then just wait for it to load. 
and then from there you have access and then from there you can either decide to log in from uh, Arizona or Virginia I'm more closer to Arizona uh, so you can log in on edge or uh, you can log in just just into your email or teams um, in my case I'm gonna do it from the army desktop which I will then connect to Nippernet servers from my home location and then from here I just click on it let it load and then you know it's gonna say the statement all that general stuff when you're logging on to Nippernet right you click OK then it loads you just wait And then still waiting. You, yeah, that's why you gotta like make sure you have like a stable, stable enough connection. Sometimes it takes a minute to load. Sometimes too. Um, and then from there, you are then on Nippernet servers. You are connected to Army servers. And then from here, you can do whatever type of work that you need to do, or whatever the case may be. And that is how you log in to AVD and get access to Nippernet service. If you guys have any questions or maybe if you run into any errors, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you have a good day and peace.